Hi, I'm Isabella, and if you haven't realized by now, I love movies. As a kid, I was pretty much addicted to them. They were a family staple every Friday night. So as I grew older, I basically wanted my life to have the same impact those films gave. I wanted to experience my own coming-of-age movie. Coming-of-age films seem to always follow the set structure. You're a teenager dissatisfied with life, at the cusp of everything changing. You move out, you're changing grades, or you're graduating high school. It's prom night, you've had your first kiss, your first lover, your first fight with your parents, you run away in your beat-up car and you map out your future life at the local gas station. It's a once-in-a-lifetime moment where you punt the sky, look up to the stars and just think, wow. I don't ever think that I experienced a coming-of-age moment that you see on screen. You see, I was a pretty good kid in high school. I was loud and obnoxious, maybe, but I was also really studious and I liked all my classes and teachers. I went straight from high school to university, still living under the same roof as my parents until this very day. So I feel like I'm not the only one who feels pretty much cheated out of this coming of age movie. It's like this blueprint of a future life with all these things that are gonna make you you. And not only has it never come, but I feel like I've lost any chance to experience it. This video serves as a reflection on 2021. The year that felt so in between that we sometimes even forgot we left 2020. And in this current life, instead of getting ready for prom, we're instead getting ready for another routine day of work and hauling ourselves out of bed, wondering when the rat race will end. Instead of driving down sunset with the hands up in the air, we're moving from our beds to the other side of the room with a dingy desk acting as a work from home setup during this pandemic. And instead of sneaking our first kiss at the movie cinema, we're curled up on a Kmart couch, either in a tiny little apartment or your parents' house, watching Netflix, alone, because either you're still single or you have to social distance. My sister's actually the one who told me. It's like it took off our training wheels going from 2020 to 2021, expecting something revolutionary, but instead we just took a step out into the world, maybe a few steps back, but the point is, you just keep going. And I believe that in itself is a coming of age moment. I'm here to normalize the term adulthood coming of age. There's just way too much pressure to experience the most influential moments of your life as a teenager during the most craziest of activities. Why can't we experience a moment like that as an adult? Why do we have to keep chasing after these movie fantasies to the point where they mean nothing but a tick off the bucket list. Coming of age to me doesn't mean having your first kiss, running away from home, becoming prom queen or getting an acceptance letter into Harvard. To me, it means quitting that job that severely underpaid you. Or when you finally took that first step to learn about passive investments to help your future. Or that night where you and your best friends collectively decide that men ain't shit. It's that moment when you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm not perfect, but I'm doing my goddamn best. It's moments that are quiet, often overlooked, uncinematic. But as an adult with introspection, with the ability to appreciate the little moments in a year that would otherwise be known as a sequel nobody wanted after 2020, I'm grateful. Life moves pretty fast, and if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it.